the cloud yes 3.5 heko just dropped and look let's cut through the hype and get real about what this ai can do and can't do the good the bad and the straight up ugly no sugar coding just facts stick around for a few minutes if you want the actual truth about this new model but before we start this video, I want to brag a little bit about me being able to predict the election results using AI and coding with public available data that I got in this video. And if you want to see this fun experiment, just go ahead, you will find it down below. Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Heku is now available on the ABI of Cloudia and Amazon Bedrock and Google Claudia Vertex AI. This news has dropped like two days ago and to be honest I don't understand why the delay of deploying this model because we have been promised this model being delivered in the end of October and we got it early November. The first thing that they claim about the new Heco is that it's fast and particularly strong at coding. And honestly, that summarizes the entire model. That's the only thing that is really good about this model. It's coding capability and how fast it is. Let's talk about the ugly part of Claudia 3.5 Heco. The pricing. This is driving everyone mad to be honest because the new price of this model is four times higher than the previous one. The Claudia 3 Heku with 25 cents per million input token and $1.25 per million output token which make it like $1.5 for both input and output for 1 million token which is extremely cheap. So everyone was expecting lower price from the Heku 3.5 model. But what we got is about $6 for each 1 million output and input. And this is kind of the only ugly thing about this model is the pricing. People are already complaining about the price of the 3.5 Eco pricing. And I kind of agree four times the price of the previous model is a lot. Maybe if we paid half this price, which is basically $3 for 1 million output and input, that will make more sense. This is lead us to the next part, which is the bad side of this model. In terms of quality, the 3.5 Heku is behind the GPT-40 Mini and before the open source model Lama 3.170B. In terms of speed, it's kind of a middle ground. It's not that fast. Actually, it's slower than the O1 Mini and slower than the 70B from Lama and the GPT-40. And in terms of the price, it's between the 70B model and the Gemini 1.5 Pro September version. And to make it even weirder, the reasoning and the knowledge for this model is actually kind of stuck between the 1.5 Flash and the open source models like the AB and the 1.5 Jamba, which make it worse than the 70B Lama, and this is insane, and the 90B Vision Lama. And for scientific reasoning and knowledge, it's actually almost compared to the 8B model, which is a very tiny small model. When it comes to the mass and reasoning, it's kind of in the middle ground behind the GPT-40 Mini, it's just right here. For coding, it's kind of also behind the GPT-40 Mini. And the, in the live bench leaderboard, you have to scroll a little bit down, 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 down until you find, until you find the Claudia 3.5 Echo model, which is behind the GPT-4 and the DeepSea Coder and the Grok 2 Mini and a lot of other models. That is insane. I have to be completely honest i really i'm a really big fan with claudia especially by, because they're providing us with one of the best coding assistant model the sonnet 3.5 and even the sonnet 3 was amazing right now after seeing the price of this model and the performance of it in the different benchmark i am started to question why it was so hype about this model i don't understand it and why this price like this it's overpriced I think that is enough talking about the bad side and the ugly side. Let's start diving into the good part about this model. If you went to the new Heku page in the blog of Anthropic, you will find that the use cases first one is code completion, which is make it perfect. If it's fast and it's very good at coding, it means it will save us a lot of time and the 
Cloudy S 3.5 Sonnet is a little bit pricey if you know what I mean. It's also good at interactive chatbot, data extraction and labeling if you're doing data analysis, real-time content moderation, which is kind of odd to see it there, and even the Ader code editing leaderboard, but Heiko number four behind the Sonnet 3.5 and the O1 preview. It's on top of DeepSeek Coder version 2 and the GPT 4.0 which make me start to feel good a little bit about this model. So let's stop talking and go ahead to Visual Studio Code and test it. I'm using Visual Studio Code and Klein. Klein is one of the best extension right now as a coding assistant. I highly recommend it. There is a video that I made talking about how good it is in the channel. In the settings, which you have to access from this icon, you can select the 3.5 Heku. I'll hit done and we are ready and i'm gonna give it just one prompt but it's a massive prompt this prompt it should give us a one page that's is basically a portfolio that's everyone right now have been asking about in the previous videos and i'm going to build it i promise and i'm going to also create the continue video that i have been requested design a clean professional one page portfolio website for software developer the page should include the following section Hero section with all these details about me and projects. Of course, you need projects showing a few projects like three or four. Then experience, summarize the relevant work experience and contact section providing links and social portfolios. Footer in the end. And finally, the design should be visually appealing, minimal, allowing the content to be the main focus. I can add using Tailwind, CSS, and dark style to make it even better. And here is the prompt. I'm gonna send it. Let's hit run. Okay, it's already understand where I bought it without telling it inside board slash page to gsx. And okay, started to create in the code. Now let's run the project and see everything. This is the result that I got. It's extremely clean, but it didn't create it in the dark mode for some reason. I mean, like it have everything that I need. Actually, it's very minimalistic. It's very really good. Here is the hero section talking about the intro then contact me which will take us it should take us down below no it's kind of sending emails and about me some of the skills some of the project and it have a very decent style then experience experience is very good then get in touch which is given us the email linkedin icon and github icon and here is the photo really clean really clean and it cost us less than wow this is really low let's add more stuff to this page to test it out like dark style i wanted to switch from light seam to dark seam i wanted to make the page more modern and here is the result for the new design basically switching to dark and a little bit modern it's it's the color is really good i have to give it that and it's kind of improved a little bit i love these colors I don't know what is these colors exactly, but I love it. And here it created the switch from light to dark and keeping the same seam as it is. And so far it's less than 10 cent. And this is amazing. I mean, like I can code more and pay less. Finally, something very good about this model. Right now I'm going to test it in building a component and a page in the same time and copying a style. Here I ask it to create a new component for a list table basically it will be a table data that will take columns and a data and it, it can be sorted to display any data that i want make the style dark like the the board page that we created and put fake data to display a blog post in this page it's kind of very simple prompt it's not enhanced nothing very special about it let's hit enter and see what will give us it's much faster than the Sonnet 3.5 and Sonnet 3. And I have to give it this because I can see the speed when it's coding. It's far, far faster than the 3.5, both the 3 and the 3.5. All right. It did give us the component. And can I sort it? Yes. Can I do with OSR date, status, ID? Nice. I want to improve it a little bit by adding actions over there. And here is the result, three buttons, one for delete, one for edit, and one for showing the details. It seems like it's 
All right, it's on the same level, but a little bit better than the Sonnet 3, which was already an agreed model. There is a new thing that I just discovered that I can do with Klein and Heku, which is copying. I ask Heku in Klein over here to copy this entire page, the submit, which I made. I love the style of this page, actually. It's over here, copy it, entire of it, but put it inside the post.create and it went copying this page actually and did it over here, put it inside the post.create, nothing would change and it made a version of it inside the edit page. Let's see it. It's over here also, but you can see here edit blog post. This is without me basically creating anything. I just, I told it to copy the page of the submit and put it inside the post create. I make one for edit inside the ID folder, which is like the subfolder. And it did this in like less than a minute. And it cost me like, as you can see here, I don't know what is this. It's less than a cent, I think. I know that I basically judged this model at the beginning very harshly and said it is ugly in terms of rice and the bad side about it. It's not good at a lot of stuff and it's lacking the capability that it should have. But when it comes to coding, it can deliver very well, maybe on the same bar of the Sonnet 3. So I think I'm going to use it even more and test it in the real work that I do in bigger project and see what will happen with it. And I'm going to let you know in the future. But that's it for this video. I don't want to make it any longer. Go ahead, try the Heco 3.5 as a coding assistant. It seems it's it do this job very well. So if you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button. It will help my channel a ton. I leave a silly comment for the algorithm down below. And if you like this kind of content, I have more. You can watch this video when I was predicting that Trump will win using AI or this new library called Docling, which is an amazing library that it can't parse any document, image, PDF and it give you the output in JSON or Markdown. So thank you for watching and see you on the next one.